That is a whole wall of do it for Dale. Look at that. This is almost a shrine. Look at this. We're in the Amarillo, right? No, we're outside. Of, we're still in New Mexico. We're at the Russell's Travel Plaza. Look at it. Hey, Cletus. <laughs> we figured out a stop on your calendar there, buddy. This is our second time coming in here. It is. The first time I didn't, I didn't film. So, 1958 Chevy Impala convertible. There's a little 55 Chevy Corvette. It's also the first year of the V8. Yep, there we go. 265 V8 engine. In 1954, they had an inline six called the Blue Flame. This is the first year in the debut car for Chevrolet's V8. Here's a nice little 59. Beautiful, beautiful drop top 51 Ford Custom. So much Art Deco in these cars. There's like, I think there's Marilyn Monroe. There's Mercury Montclair. This one's a 55. 53 Chevy. And it's interesting because all of your Bel Airs after 1955. They were predominantly hard tops. But in 53, it was a trim package. And then we have the green 1954 yeah. Chevy Bel Air. This is what a hard top looks like. This is a 54 Bel Air. But if you look, the windshield's shorter. Than that one over there. And then we have an army guy right here. Yep. It's probably, yep, it's a national cash register. We have one of these, but we have a, it's almost the same as this one. But this one would be for a regular mercantile store. And ours is a mercantile. So it has two drawers on the bottom so that it could have two different employees. Full collection of toys. A bunch of Elvis stuff in here. John Wayne, the Duke. Some old pedal cars. There's all sorts of memorabilia in here. That's that's a department store national right there. Beautiful, beautiful bronze work. There's another merchant national. <coughs> Old oil pumps. So in the gas stations in the 30s and 40s, You'd uh, take this bottle right here, you'd pull that metal lid off of it, and you'd stick the bottle up underneath the spout, and you'd crank it. And when the bottle got full, that was a quart, and you put the cap on and you put the quart in your car in the oil. There's a shop service tub. Same thing for oil, but the shop could measure out four quarts. All these are old pumps. What? Yeah, there's Yoda. Flathead. Pianos. Semis. Whole military collection of hats. 
So this is probably one of the most amazing settings is they made mules in fiberglass to set a stage for an original tanker. And this is how they killed, carried fuel back in the day. It took wooden wheels to be able to get gas to your car. There's another Texaco tanker. I used to deliver out to farms and ranches, little gas stations. <laughs> whole collection of spurs. Oh, there's another national cash register. And yet another one. Three more nationals. Yep. It kind of feels like we're at um, Rick's. Rick's Restoration? Oh. Yeah. He brought all of his stuff back to his house. Maybe we'll go see him someday. Piano? Yep, another piano. Elvis? Elvis. Yeah, Barbershop poles? Gas pumps. There's so much in this little museum. Years and years and years of collecting. And this isn't all of it. This is just all they have displayed because, well, they kind of ran out of room. Yeah. Some more really cool pedal cars. Wagons. Chin types. Thanks, guys. Old spark plug tester. More kinds of cars behind. Mm hmm. Lots and lots of cars. And then we get back into the last little run of cars right here. Lingenfelter Corvette, C10, convertible Mustang, El Camino like mullet. SR, SRT Challenger. That's an early one, though. That's when it was the. Oh, that's another Hennessy. Ooh. And it's a turbo car. Wow. And it's a Ram. Yeah, no, it's, it's a Challenger. It's an 06 or an 07, but it's a Hennessy Turbo. That thing would be nasty on the streets. Yeah, buddy. And then we got us a. GT500 in yellow, uh, drop top in black, a 5 ohm Mustang. Is this, a, this looks like a Shelby. Yep, it is a Super Snake. So it's a supercharged 5 ohm. And yet, here's another super snake. So, this row of Mustangs and both of the SRT8s are new since the last time we were here. All of these Shelby Mustangs. And those two Challengers, the Challenger and the, the Lingenfelter Corvette. Yeah, these are all new since the last time we were here. 
look at this. This stuff is just chalk to the ceiling. And this room isn't very big. And then we have Jesus upstairs. That's Jesus. Scales, jukeboxes. Thank you guys very much. Thank you very much for stopping. Appreciate it. We actually drove past where we were going just to come here. That's great. Thank you very much. And then some bikes and uh, some chopper, a gas pump. Well, not a problem, boss man. Not a problem. Got to keep that museum clean. Original Cushman. So many of these ended up as hot rods. That's a 1927 Model T Ford Cabriolet. Shamrock. Yep. Gas tank. Yep. All right, guys. Well, it's probably going to get posted as its own video because it's just too cool.